Hey guys, it's TTB More Twin Flame, and I deserve all that is coming to me and more. And I don't usually give myself credit for things. I don't usually, you know, I'm not usually confident. Um, just the opposite. I usually don't like myself. I'm usually uncomfortable with compliments. Um, can't really receive them. Can't really believe them. But this one, it's coming from inside. And I believe it. So, I'm really kind of struggling tonight. I just got back from Ocean City. A trip with my two youngest that live with me. Um, went to Ocean City. Never before been to Ocean City. Haven't been on vacation in like 20 years. God, my ear feels weird. I feel bizarre. Like I'm talking in a tunnel. And, um, and then with my dad. Like, that's crazy. That's never been. It's never happened. It's still like, like, pinch me. At this, like, is this real? Like, did I just, like, have a connection with my dad that flowed <laughs> we've never had that ever that's because of the work that I've been doing on myself that's because of the self love and the forgiveness and the nurturing myself allowing myself to be triggered um, facing rejection facing separation facing um, abandonment releasing him and being safe for myself being gentle, being kind, being patient, being sensitive. Um, you, you, you have to be safe for your inner child in order to be safe for other people's. And they feel that once you are. I don't know what is going on with my eyeballs and my head and my ears. I know I'm really tired. I didn't get much sleep at all last night. And it's 11 p.m., I did a couple rides. Um, that always makes me feel good to earn some money. Power on. Okay. My speaker just turned up. So, okay. Um, being me is uncomfortable. I'm not really sure who me is. I get awkward and really uncomfortable. And then I blame other people. Like, I don't want to be, you know. And it's, it's. Tend to blame other people. Or just think that because I feel awkward and uncomfortable, everybody's feeling awkward. Um, and, you know, having a few triggers, it's important that you stay calm and breathe through it and process and don't do anything. Every time I get triggered, I always want to do something in emotion. There's a spiritual saying that says something like, you know, never do anything in anger or whatever. When you're triggered, it's going to feel terrible. You're going to want to block your twin. You're going to want to hate him. You're going to want to tell him off. You're going to want to never see him again. Don't do that. You're triggered. That's it. Work through how you feel instead of protecting yourself or blaming someone. You can't protect yourself and blame someone and heal. But I don't know why. You can't. Um, and so it's going to feel icky could be really anxious, could be really fearful, could feel like you're being pulled in half, like a part of you is being cut off. It's the toxic ways. It's the darkness, the shame, the guilt, the fear, um, the codependency, uh, the abandonment, the separation, the rejection. That's been such a part of you that you don't know how to be separate from it. Your identity has been in it. So that's what's happening when you get triggered. So, um, yeah, it's all worth it and you're going to heal. And why I said I deserve all this credit and everything, everything that's coming to me and more because nobody's saying this. I haven't heard one person talk about twin flames. And honestly, I don't think anybody's going to do this. I think too many people on social media want instant fixes and they think that because uh like they all talk about toxic and red flags then you're supposed to get away from them who said you were supposed to get away from people with red flags or with that are toxic 
you need to sit in it, feel it. Don't react, don't attack, don't blame. You know, you need to feel it, forgive it, release it. You attracted that energy into your life because you have that energy. Like energy attracts like energy. So I always say you need to embrace what you're manifesting. So for me, my twin flame is going to go on vacation this year. Again, he went last year without me and won't really talk to me that whole week. So he's, uh, last year he wouldn't tell me where he went until like months afterwards. Um, he wouldn't tell me. This year he says he's going to Canada. Um, I guess. Uh, and it's really confusing. Again, he says there's woods. I'm pretty sure he talked about woods in Las Vegas. So, you know, Las Vegas is not, he said it was a retreat for him. It was a meditation. You know, he always calls himself a monk. Well, he's had more sex than anybody that I've known that I know. So monks are celibate. So that's an impossibility of becoming a monk and monks don't have children. So at least the monks that, so whatever, uh, the, but there's something in him that says that he's a monk and that he goes on retreats. So there's alcohol involved. Um, and there's people and there's females and it was Las Vegas and that they say what goes on in, what goes on in Vegas stays in Vegas. Um, so, uh, and he wouldn't tell me that he was there until afterwards and we didn't talk. Like, I think he called me, he did call me once or twice. So, um, so it's really hard for me right now because he's, you know, gearing up, amping up to go to, um, vacation. I don't know when he goes cause he's really all over the place. We're both like that when we talk sometimes and I don't know exactly when he wants to go and it's kind of anxiety for me. Um, it hurts that he doesn't want to go with me and take me and include me and he's not all lovey-dovey towards me and all, you know, he goes four days or so every week without talking to me. He talks to me like three days a week, four days a week. Uh, it varies, but there's, there's, you know, um, this, this past weekend, it was Saturday, Sunday. I didn't talk to him. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and I talked to him Tuesday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that's three days. I don't know if I talked to him Friday or not, I think, but I'm not sure. It just, my whole weekend was so long. So it's not like I'm keeping tally or keeping track and we're not in a relationship, but it's just, what are we doing? But the universe knows what we're doing. It, it does. We, it seems like we're stuck in some weird place of friends with benefits of casual. Um, so I hate it, but we're not stuck. There is a purpose for everything. Um, there is no thing, such thing as being stuck. Um, there's layers. So, um, do I trust him? Yeah, I don't even care. Honestly, I mean, I, I guess at this right now, I don't even care. I can't control it. Um, last night, source said, not what it had nothing to do with Steven, my twin flame. It was, um, source said, all you can do is love people or not. And that made sense to me. Um, source talks to me a lot as I sleep and go in and out of like, I wake up a lot. And I get that dream lake, you know, drifting off. That's when I get a lot of communication. That's like meditation. And it was like, all you can do is love people or not. It's your choice. You don't, of course, you always, always, always have a free, a free will. So, you know, you can't control what people do. And you can't control if people love you back. I mean, honestly, you can manipulate them. You can force something. You can give ultimatums and, and force, and that's using manipulation. Um, and I wouldn't recommend using manipulation. 
So this is why I don't think many people are going to be with their twin flames. I don't even really know if I'm going to, but nobody's going to will it, going to be willing to endure the patience and the pain. Everybody's instant and red flag by uh, trigger definitely by toxic by you know everybody what is ready to labor label labor label another person narcissistic um, whatever instead of looking at themselves that that's what they're manifesting so you know my twin flame he called me today um, it was okay uh, you know but he talked to he won he won seven hundred dollars on a game and he said he was up all night because he couldn't sleep. And he was happy because he was so happy. Um, he didn't tell me what he did on his day off because he has Monday off. Didn't hear from him or see him. or I, I just, it, okay. He doesn't answer to me. I know. So, I, I know. It's just, I miss him. I want to see, like... And I'm tired of being that one that misses him. I'm tired of being that one that wants to see him. I want it. So whatever. It's so I was like, uh, okay. Meanwhile, part of me has really been struggling. My friend Josh said something about me making 20,000 a, uh, a month. And he kind of like blessed me, encouraged me that soon I'll be making 20,000 a month. And I thought, how can he do that? How can you genuinely want somebody else to do better than where you are right now? I, I have <laughs> I have a hard time with that. So, but I believe that law of attraction is you need to find contentment with what is before what is will change. So, um, that's law of attraction. So, how do I feel content with myself? and my money situation and that was actually how my weekend with my dad was my dad in the past has has given me money has helped me and helped me um financially and he even changed the date of this ocean city at the last minute because of his dementia he couldn't he didn't remember that he told me last next week instead of this week and so i had to scramble at the last minute and go and he even said, I even said, dad, I don't have any money. And he said, I have money. But of course my kids, I want to take them to the boardwalk and do stuff with them that he wasn't doing. So I had to pay money, spend money. And I pulled out my credit card. Luckily I have one that I just got. And that's what I used. So it was a struggle for me to be like, uh, to have faith in myself and my own money and my own wealth and prosperity, my own law of attraction for me instead of, you know, say something to my dad and get money from him or whatever. That was a struggle. Why was it a struggle? It just was. I really didn't want to use a credit card. I really don't want to be not paying that off. And so anyway, so but I've changed. I'm not putting pressure on myself to make money. I just let it go to the universe. And I say, the bills are paid. On time, they're paid. I have more than enough money. And I just show up. But I can't create rides from Lyft. And I can't create people that, you know, I can't create money for myself. The universe has to do that. I have faith in it. And I'm going to show up. But ultimately, I just trust the universe with that. And I'm getting better. I didn't want to keep struggling and striving with money. So, um, and so then there goes my twin flame with, he just won $700 right before, and he's going on vacation. And yay, good for him. And I, it's hard. I wanted him to give me some of that money. Share it with me. So that's not right. Um, you know, so I choose to be happy for him. Oh God, heartburn. I choose to be happy for him. I choose to believe in myself. And even though I don't see it, I believe in it for myself. And I set him free to do whatever he wants with that money and to be happy. And that is really, I feel like essential in your twin flames in, in relationships period is no more, uh, manipulation, no more, you know, jealousy or whatever. Let 
people want to let them do what they want to do whatever makes them happy let them figure it out by their own heart by their own conscience by their own you know so that was a stretch I'm just being honest I'm just being transparent I'm not a monster I'm a regular person but these are the things that I've struggled with is like codependency and and being having faith in myself and not leaning or relying on other people so that's how it went today and today on the phone this past couple of days with my dad and today on the phone with my twin flame and I'm tired um sitting here trying to be good to myself made something food for me and the kids I'm feeling a little lonely but I'm also embracing that this is my life this is my home and we all have to live our own life um and I overate um you know I, I still tend to overeat so but I believe that as I continue to heal that will heal as well um and you know I'm accepting myself I think that's more important than pushing and forcing so and I do I do love my twin flame I do very much and I and I do will to trust him I want to trust him I do believe he's trustworthy it's just scary and sketchy and hard and for me um, I don't know how to have the conversation with him about it but I know he knows my energy because we are spiritually connected as twin flames like no other two people are connected um, he didn't sleep last night no coincidence I didn't sleep last night um, so we definitely feel each other's energy probably at a subconscious level but subconscious is big that's a big deal um I was thinking today that my kids he would love my kids he would get along so well with my kids and then I was thinking and it's funny I really love his kids that must be a twin flame thing um, and then what I talked about, about accepting what you're manifesting right now, we are not boyfriend and girlfriend. We are not in a relationship. He doesn't, uh, we don't see each other's kids. We don't, you know, and, and that's what I'm manifesting. And so I'm going to feel that that's what, that's what love equals to me right now. Um, I'm watching Schitt's Creek and, and. Grey's Anatomy and they're all about love and relationships and romance and oh my gosh I get so lonely um, and I also said to my twin flame today I am so lonely at times I can't stand it like it's it's horrendous and but I I felt like I said it like it was his like he needs to fix that <laughs> you know like and he doesn't I'm not his responsibility I'm not so that's what's going on is me choosing to love myself, to accept myself, to um, be face to face with my, you know, weaknesses, uh, flaws, insecurities, toxicity, and choose to, you know, be willing to change and to do things different and to let freedom be the guide. Freedom free will and freedom so thanks for listening um thanks for listening thank you for listening this really helped me i'm really glad that i have this i'm really glad i know that um i know what i'm doing i know that i am connected to source and that i am divinely guided and that I'm doing what me as a twin flame is supposed to do. Um, I feel really icky. Like, like Steven is, you know, nothing to me and I'm nothing to him because we hardly talk and, but I know it is special even though I don't always feel it. Um, I have to, I come against that and I say, I trust you. I say, you can choose things make choices that's what we do with a free will 
Um, I choose to trust him. I choose to believe in him. I choose to believe in ourselves, And I believe in the perfection of the timing and the way. And that this is exactly what I need in order to be free and healed and whole and complete and healthy. Is to love myself. Is to, um, you know, be good to myself. Find peace with myself. And to be content. And to have faith in the things that I desire. So, thank you. Until next time, thanks for listening to me. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. (laughs) I love you, Twin Flamers. Best in the universe.